Another game changer, a new diagnostic tool referred to as blue light. New York Presbyterian is one of the few hospitals in the city that has it. Patients always want to hear when the surgeon comes out of the operating room, Doc, did you get it all? Very difficult to do that in bladder cancer because it can hide. There are some breakthrough technologies in helping us find bladder cancer. And so this is the inside of a bladder. Uh, we're looking here with a normal white light source. This area is cancerous right here. And this area, these small little red dots or tumors are all bladder cancer. Now, it's hard to see that until you turn the fluorescent light on. That's cancer, that's cancer, that's cancer. Before, when we didn't have the blue light, we'd see this fuzzy borders, not very distinct. In late 2014, we did our first surgeries here using this technology, and it was literally like turning on a light bulb. I'd been looking in the bladder for 20 years, looking for cancer, I'd probably done over a thousand of these surgeries, and as soon as I used this a few times, I decided that we, we had to have it here. It was a critical thing, and it really helped patients' outcome. Malcolm Cohen had bladder cancer surgery using the standard procedure. Then he consulted with Dr. McKiernan. He suggested that there was a very new technology. He thought it was more advanced than the present methods. So I, I agreed to have that done, and they discovered a, uh, a, a secondary tumor. We repeated the surgery immediately. We found an additional tumor, which I would not have seen myself with a regular scope, removed that tumor, and the next thing you know, he was fine. And I wouldn't have been able to do that without this technology. It was clear that his cancer had just never been thoroughly removed. Each year that uh, there is a non-recurrence, my chances of remaining cancer-free increase. I feel very fortunate uh, I'm here today. I'm able to stay ahead of it and enjoy life.